Hey, hey, everybody, it's Eddie from Tokyo. This is your cryptocurrency update from Japan. It's Monday here, the 7th of May, 2018, and I'm going to talk about the biggest news from Japan, the biggest news globally, my aha moment from Talk on the Street, the winners and losers in the top 100 market cap, uh, that is, and my prediction. I'm going to start a prediction list and I'm going to keep track of my predictions so that, um, yeah, we'll see how good I am at predicting some of the movement in the cryptocurrency space. So today will be the first one and, and uh, I'll share that with you at the end. And I'm going to do everything in 10 minutes or less. Okay, so let's get to it. The biggest news from Japan. Well, absolutely. Uh, this is SBI, which is SBI Holdings. They are just a powerhouse of a financial institution. Monex, which just bought CoinCheck, has about a million point seven um, customers, clients uh, that they manage in terms of their um, financial services. SBI Holdings has over eight million. So, you know, as I talked about, the people that are starting to get into the infrastructure are major players, and um, it's just becoming um, incredibly uh, full of the most powerful people in finance here in Japan. So SBI is going to launch um, this summer. And uh, the most important thing they're going to do is have a lot of fiat pairing. And I uh, believe that that is going to be the next new wave within all the exchanges who want to be competitive. Uh, they're going to have to offer the fiat pairing. So. You know, it's probably going to reduce the BTC dominance, but, you know, for the user, it's going to be fantastic. All right. So that is the biggest news from Japan. Then the biggest news globally. Absolutely. For sure. I, you know, I read this story on my last video and uh, had read it pretty much cold. So I didn't have time to process it. And the more now I have been able to sleep on it the more I realize this is huge news. So Tangem launches a Bitcoin banknote in Singapore. And Tangem actually is a, a company from Switzerland, but they are going to um, do this physical launch here in Singapore. So uh, this is just, this is absolutely out of the box, something I never really thought about. However, if we want to promote the mass adoption, this is probably the first big step. I suspect that this is going to be incredibly successful because as, as uh, we all know, we have family members and friends who, even if you hold their hand, just can't make it through all the hoops you have to jump through to, to uh, buy the cryptocurrency, uh, let alone store it safely and then when it comes to trading um, that's just it's too scary for a lot of people so i think that this is a fantastic way to bring the masses on and as you see um, it's got a Sam samsung semi semiconductor chip inside this note interesting this is the actual press release this bill um costs about two dollars to actually produce so the tangent is going to be delivering the first shipment of 10,000 production notes to prospective partners and distributors around the world for com commercial pilots so i want to be part of that commercial test and um you can too and i found out how to do it so um if you go to the tangent.com website you can see that this is what it's going to look like and um, there is, let me just show you here. These are the founders of the group. Let's see. I need to go. Where did I go? You can actually actually request to have a, um, here we go. You can request samples or you can outright buy a Pioneer kit if you like for a couple hundred bucks. But if you go um, to the request samples, they will ask you for your um, email 
and they'll ask you for your name and shipping address. They say they'll ship anywhere around the world. And they'll also ask, what, why do you want to have this sample? What are you going to do with it? So I have requested one. And, um, y you know, feel free to go ahead and um, request, put your request in, and then uh, let me know if you are lucky enough to get one of the samples. Okay, so, uh, yeah, they have a... Let's see, if we have one or two tangent prototypes just waiting for you, please email yes. So this is the process you start. Anyway, okay, so good luck. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is something I heard on the street. The market cap that we all look at on coin market cap is not really the market cap. And of course, we know that there are whales that are trading on the OTC. But did you know, because I just didn't, I'm a Telegram user, but I didn't know that there were people trading on Telegram. So I did a little research and you, you may ask yourself, you know, what is Telegram? Well, Telegram is a private messaging encrypted um, service. It's cloud-based, it's fast, it's distributed, um, it is open. Uh, in, in other words, it's an open API and protocol free for everyone to use. Um, it's secure. It's so secure that Russia actually is not too happy about it at all. It's powerful, so it has no limits on the size of the media and chats. And um, yeah, I, I belong to a couple of, of groups and uh, I really enjoy it. And I feel safe to talk about what I want to talk about. Um, maybe that's naive of me, but as far as I can tell, this is a real secure messaging um, service. And I thought, okay, well, wh who's doing the buying and selling and how are they doing this? Well, there is a whale pool uh, and the whale pool has a whale pool dojo, which is very, um, you got to jump through a couple of hoops to get in there. But um, they there's a lot of buying and selling of, of um, coin. Now, check this out. If you want to use, I'm not saying I recommend this, but this is one of the, um, this is one of the applications you can use to actually buy and sell various cryptocurrencies uh, with no fee. And you can do Bitcoin, Litecoin, Dash, Dogecoin, Bitcoin Cash, or Ethereum. And it is, really fascinating to find out um, this is what some people are using on Telegram and it's a payment uh, method that and, and a buying method for the community uh, and they work as a an escrow service so that you are protected in the transaction um, when you're dealing with someone you don't know. So this is what was fascinating for me. Here's the weekly volume. So if we take a look, um, let's just take a look here on April, what is this? This is April 22nd, 2018. Um, the volume was 335 Bitcoins and the number of deals were 17,949. I mean, wow, this is really pretty incredible stuff. Um, if we take a look, let me go back to where I was here. If we take a look here, what is this one? This one is December 3rd, 2017, 606 coins were, were, uh, traded and the number of deals were 19,461. Wow. It's just a lot, right? It's a lot of coin. And so this is another OTC way to to find um, a buyer without paying those exchange fees. I, I just am fascinated with how many deals, look at this, April 29th, 14,231 deals and a total of 309 Bitcoins were actually moved. So the coin market cap is not something we can really take at face value. All right, so next thing, I want to take a look at the who are the losers and who are the winners. So let's take a look at the um, top 100 coins. 
The winner today is Bitcoin Dark at 37.58%. You know, I had to, t I have to be honest, I just didn't know a lot about Bitcoin Dark. I knew it was an anonymous coin, but if you go to Bitcoin Dark, it tells you their website is being updated. Yikes, that's not such a good, uh, it's not such a good thing, right? I had to go to another website to find out a little bit more and go a little bit deeper. And um, they're basically, um, you know, they're basically doing what bitcoin does but they're doing it um anonymously and recently uh they did a a, a swap with komodo and so komodo will be bitcoin dark as of january 18th so that time has passed and um i think you know they're using a zero proof like zcash does and uh they believe that they're um, secure and anonymous and um, that they are the coin to use when it comes to um, doing it without uh, having people follow exactly, you know, what it is that you're buying or what it is that you're selling. So I think um, there are, there is definitely a community because with the current um, 37.58 up percent, Unless something's going on out there that's being pumped that I don't know about, let me know in the comment section. Uh, and this is a bad, you know, this is a red day. So this actually is pretty impressive to have this kind of an, uh, uh, a green double digit gain. All right, let's see who the loser was. Fusion. Well, poor Fusion is down 15%. It is ranked number 92 in the overall um top 100 in the market cap and fusion i had to look it's a protocol that provides an api uh, to include different blockchain tokens different off-chain values and different data sources into one public chain and it makes it possible for all kinds of people centralized organizations and blockchain communities to help each other benefit each other and create a much better new world well uh it's a little bit blurry for me but when i went down and took a look at the team the team is really spectacular so um uh, granted i i don't have the details on this coin but i can see there are some serious people working in this um project and yeah it's probably one that we want to pay attention to especially when the coins are down you know those sometimes are the best coins for uh rebounds in price so if you're um that kind of a trader this is a coin you want to look at all right and then the last but not least i want to give you my prediction so tomorrow is a big day the sec will determine whether or not um ethereum is a uh security and I am going to say they are going to rule no. Ethereum is not a security. And that is because if we take a look at what the SEC chairman has said, let me just take you to his quote. It's a complicated area, that it is, because as you said, the, there are different types of crypto assets. Let me try to divide them into two areas. A pure medium of exchange, the one that's most often cited is Bitcoin. As a replacement of a currency that has been determined by most people not to be a security. Then there are tokens which are used to finance projects. I've been on the record saying that there are very few there's none that I've seen tokens that aren't securities. However, it, as you know, the currently Ethereum is a means of exchange and the founders of Ethereum do not have control over the network. So I don't think you can say that this has been a token that has brought, um, a means of financing a project. It's not. It's more of a means to handle the traffic that is linked between smart contracts and people are using it to build other projects on. So I think it's gray zone. 
And I think it will not be classified as a security under the US law. That's my prediction. Okay, I promised I would do this in 10 minutes or less. I'm not sure it's exactly 10 minutes or less, but I tried to stay close to that because the last video, I just went on and on and on and on. Okay, everybody, please take care and sayonara for now. Bye-bye.